you know that some of the happiest countries in the world are located in Northern Europe? While happiness can be a somewhat elusive metric to pin down, recent reports have been able to rank the happiest countries in the world according to factors including GDP per capita, quality of healthcare, and social support systems. Maybe unsurprisingly, the U.S. is not among the world's happiest nations, and in fact is ranked 23rd when it comes to happiness. The U.S. aside, what are the countries where people are the most content? Well, today on Across the Globe, we're going to be looking at the 10 happiest countries to live in the world for 2024. Just as a quick note, obviously you can be happy or unhappy in any country. However, this list will give you an idea of the countries that tend to rank on the higher end of the spectrum on average. Number 10. New Zealand New Zealand has consistently been ranked high up on world happiness rankings. This is due to multiple factors, but a key one is the country's strong social support system, which is evident in the government's commitment to well-being on both an individual and societal level. In 2019, for example, New Zealand's government introduced a well-being budget that prioritized things like mental health, children's well-being, building a productive nation, and transforming the economy. This approach shows that New Zealand is forward-thinking in terms of making well-being a key part of its fiscal policy. Even more recently, New Zealand continued this initiative by adopting the Gross National Happiness Index, focusing on citizens' well-being over economic metrics. This was a move spearheaded by Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern to further prioritize mental health, reduce child poverty, and address inequalities amongst New Zealanders. Ardern's adoption of this index exemplified how the nation was redefining what success meant and showing that New Zealand believes that economic growth should not come at the expense of citizens' happiness. With its strong governmental push towards happiness, it's no wonder that those in New Zealand are some of the happiest people in the world. In addition to the government's focus on happiness, the culture of New Zealand is another key contributor to residents' happiness, as it emphasizes community and resilience even in the face of adversity. For instance, following the pandemic, those in New Zealand came together as a society and began participating more in activities like helping a stranger, volunteering, and donating to charity, all of which contribute to a happier society. Number 9. Australia A short distance from New Zealand is Australia, which not only shares a spot on the continent of Oceania, but also shares a spot on the list of the happiest countries in the world. According to the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, or the OECD, a big part of the reason for Australians' happiness is the country's work-life balance. Here, people work fewer hours annually compared to the OECD average, with only 14% of employees saying that they work very long hours, thus allowing more time for leisure activities and time with family and friends. As you can imagine, this culture of valuing personal time over excessive work hours likely contributes significantly to Australians' overall well-being and happiness. Additionally, Australians enjoy a high-quality environment, not only in terms of the nation's breathtaking natural beauty, but also when it comes to things like clean air and water. For example, a whopping 91% of Australians report being happy with the quality of their water. Despite all of its progress towards happiness, it is important to recognize the challenges Australia still faces. For instance, one point against Australia is that it does struggle with high levels of income inequality, as it's ranked the 14th highest for its level of inequality out of all of the 28 OECD countries. Number 8. Switzerland Like Australians, the Swiss also enjoy an exceptional work-life balance. Here, it is reported that it's commonplace for workers to take extended lunch breaks, with some even reuniting with their families in the middle of the workday. And when the weekend rolls around, you won't see the average Swiss resident sitting at their desk finishing up work from the week, but rather engaging in leisure activities. Another key part of Switzerland's work-life balance is that those in this country work far less compared to other similar countries. For instance, in the U.S., the average American worker works 219 hours more per year than the average Swiss worker. That's a full nine days more, or a week and a half more, of work every year. 
Interestingly, Switzerland's economy is incredibly strong and stable despite its residents working fewer hours, as it has a AAA credit ranking. Residents also trust the government here, with Switzerland recently placing number seven on a list of the least corrupt countries in the world. Lastly, Switzerland's commitment to preserving its natural landscapes and promoting outdoor activities significantly contributes to its citizens' happiness. As you probably know, the Swiss have easy access to tons of natural beauty and numerous outdoor activities like the Alps and plenty of stunning waterfalls and lakes, making it no surprise that Switzerland consistently ranks among the happiest places on Earth. Number 7. Luxembourg If you know anything about Luxembourg, you might know that they have an incredibly strong economy with the highest GDP per capita globally. While this alone is a key driver of happiness for the nation, like many of the countries we've looked at so far, Luxembourg's work-life balance is also a big contributor. In Luxembourg, citizens work fewer hours per year compared to the OECD average, which allows more time for both leisure activities and family and community engagement, all of which are essential elements of happiness. Specific policies, such as the country's approach to work hours and vacation entitlements, along with generous parental leave, further enhance residents' ability to enjoy life beyond work. Finally, Luxembourg's diverse and international population, with almost 50% of people here being from other nations, as well as its high standard of living, access to healthcare, and low crime rates, all play a role in its status as one of the world's happiest countries. Number 6. Netherlands Like so many of the places on this list, those who live in the Netherlands have an excellent work-life balance, with Dutch employees working the fewest long hours out of all the countries in the OECD. In fact, happiness seems to be almost ingrained into the Dutch way of living, as a key contributor to happiness in the Netherlands is the practice of what's referred to as Nixon. This concept is defined as the art of doing nothing in an effort to promote relaxation and mental well-being and encourages individuals to take breaks and holidays unapologetically, thus helping prevent burnout and even enhancing overall productivity. In addition to Nixon, the country's high levels of institutional trust, low youth unemployment, and strong community bonds and commitment to acceptance further contribute to its happiness. For instance, the Netherlands was the first country to legalize same-sex marriage, exhibiting the inclusive and accepting nature of Dutch society. Number 5. Norway Like the Netherlands, Norway has their own version of Nixon, except that here it's called Friluftsliv. This is the Norwegian concept of outdoor life that essentially encourages its citizens to participate in an active outdoor lifestyle. And with Norway's abundance of natural wonders from fjords and glaciers to the mesmerizing northern lights, Norwegians have ample opportunities to connect with nature and reap the mental health benefits associated with time outside. Furthermore, Norway's progressive policies such as the Allemansrett law that grants people here the freedom to roam and camp on any piece of uncultivated land in the country also foster a sense of community and trust. In addition to prioritizing time outside, the country's robust social safety net, including comprehensive unemployment benefits and child support programs like generous paid parental leave and universal early childhood education and care, further enhances the overall happiness and security of its citizens. Number 4. Sweden Swedes not only enjoy some of the shortest working hours in the world, but they also have some of the most extensive parental leave benefits and vacation time, exhibiting the government's commitment to their residents' well-being. In terms of working hours, only 1% of Swedish people say that they work very long hours. When it comes to parental benefits and vacation time, Sweden's residents get a full five weeks of paid vacation a year, or 25 days excluding weekends, plus 480 paid days of parental leave per child. For reference, in the US, the average worker gets just 11 paid days of vacation per year and 29 days of paid maternity leave. As you can imagine, this ample time off not only allows more time for Swedes to connect with their families, 
but also enables them to have more time to pursue leisure activities and maintain a healthy lifestyle, which is supported by things like Sweden's bike-friendly infrastructure. Finally, like we already saw with the Netherlands and Norway, Sweden also has its own kind of philosophy called Lagom, which promotes moderation and balance in all aspects of life and encourages a sense of contentment and appreciation for the simple things. Number 3. Iceland One key reason that Iceland is one of the happiest countries in the world is the strong sense of community that's present here. According to the OECD, 98% of Icelanders believe that they have someone they can rely on in times of need, which is the highest rate out of all of the countries in the OECD. And interestingly, despite having the highest divorce rate in Europe and the highest percentage of women working outside the home, these factors do not detract from the country's happiness, but instead reflect a society that values individual freedom and equality, thus contributing even more to Icelanders' overall happiness levels. Lastly, the country's natural environment, with its clean air and plenty of breathtaking natural wonders, from caves to waterfalls to volcanoes, also plays a key role in the well-being of its residents. Number 2. Denmark Denmark is known for its philosophy of hygge, which refers to the feeling of contentment that comes from enjoying the simple things in life, like spending time with friends and family. This cultural emphasis on enjoying life's small pleasures is likely one of the many factors that make Danish people some of the happiest people in the world. Like we've already seen with so many other Northern European countries, Denmark also prioritizes the well-being of its residents through its governmental policies. For instance, Denmark's former prime minister attributed the nation's happiness to three main factors, public trust in government, media and business, strong public services, and something called flexicurity, which essentially refers to a work-life balance that not only allows for an optimal balance between work and free time, but also provides security for those who are unemployed to get back into work. Number 1. Finland The happiest country in the world is Finland. People here are the most content out of anywhere else on Earth due to a combination of factors including a strong social safety net, gender equality, and a family-friendly society. Looking first at its social safety net, the country of Finland spends a significant portion of its GDP on social protection programs, which include things like pensions, healthcare costs, and unemployment benefits, thus ensuring that everyone has access to essential services. For reference to how other countries stack up, the U.S. often ranks last or close to last out of all of the countries in the OECD when it comes to its social safety net, with almost three times the number of people living in poverty in the U.S. compared to those in Finland. That's at least partially attributable to the fact that the U.S. spends less on social safety programs than places like Finland, with 22.7% of the U.S.'s GDP going towards public social spending compared to 29% in Finland. In addition to Finland's social safety net that's one of the strongest in the world, the country also boasts one of the most gender-equal societies globally, with women accounting for 46% of the country's parliament and 40% of councillors at the municipal level. This also reflects Finland's family-friendly society, with generous parental leave policies that allow parents to spend time with their children without worrying about finances. Finally, Trust and freedom are crucial aspects of Finnish happiness, with the country consistently ranking among the best in the world for transparency and political, civil, and press freedom. What about the safest countries to live in the world?